Welcome back to Sports Report. Andy Lynch with the Coldwater Boys Bowling Team. We'll also talk with a couple of the ladies coming up in a bit. But Rick Harding's longtime coach joins me to my left. We also have Derek Seifring and Kendall Homan. Coach, thanks for coming up. As always, seems like it's a yearly tradition here. And a yearly tradition, boys doing well in bowling. Yes, yes. It's always fun to come back here and get an email from you. And uh, the kids get excited. I always pick a couple seniors to come on the show. It's kind of neat for them to get a little nervous and, and get a little <laughs> exposure as well. But... Yeah, everybody's balling good this year and uh, conference play. The boys are undefeated, girls are undefeated, and uh, uh, looking for a, a good run at the end of the season here and then get ready for tournament. Big one tomorrow against New Bremen. T talk about that matchup and how you've been preparing this week. Yes, uh, well, we didn't practice. We did practice a little bit this week with uh, not, no school on uh, a yeah. couple days. So the kids were in on their own mostly, and then uh, tomorrow we're at Plaza Lanes and Salina for the, uh, uh, in the morning the boys will bowl New Bremen. So it's going to be a big match. We're both undefeated in conference play right now. Uh, the New Bremen team is probably the best team they've had probably in the history of their, of their uh, program. So it's going to be fun. You know, our guys are ready. Just come off a big win at the Pioneer Classic on Monday here yeah. at uh, Westgate. So that was huge for us and a big confidence booster. And what a, ma what a, what a tournament that's become. Yes, it's, uh, yeah, Temple Christian is doing a great job. And uh, B.J. McFerrin and Dennis Kreitz and his staff and everybody. And, you know, now they split up with the boys at Westgate and the girls at 20th. Uh, our girls uh, bowled well, finished fifth. But uh, and then we ran over, the bus took us over to the other center real quick. And, <laughs> We watched the boys uh, go on and uh, beat some really good teams, so it was a big confidence booster for them as well. Derek Seifring, fourth in WOHSBC with a 199.4 average. Been a great senior season for you. What are some of the highlights so far? Well, I mean, I think just being consistent over the year has been the best, and then being able to be the anchor this year. I mean, it's just great to be able to be, like, best bowler in a team, and they count on you, like, as your senior year. It just, like, I don't know, gets you motivated and makes you want to bowl better. How about Monday, getting that win at, at Temple Christian's Pioneer Classic? Pretty exciting? Oh, yeah. That was probably the highlight of my, of my bowling career so far. Just, like, having the chance to bowl a tournament and finally bowl against, like, other good teams and just see what we could do, and we went out and won it. Down at the end, uh, Kendall, we see the pink cast, but you will be back for the postseason. That's the goal, right? Yes. <clears throat> How did it happen? I fell on ice and uh, landed on it. Okay, well, at least it wasn't in the bowling lanes. That would have been a little yeah. more yeah. embarrassing, right? <laughs> yeah. But you were having a great season up until your injury. Kind of a downer that you got hurt, but nice knowing you'll be back. Yeah, hopefully I come back better than ever and just become strong and help the team out when I need to help them out. What's it like being a part of cold water bowling year after year, such a strong presence locally and then also at the state level? I mean, it's definitely, you get a little bit of pressure under it, but I think, you know, we practice over time. And then Rick teaches us well. And like we always just train for these moments. And I think we're just ready for it all the time. Yeah. All right. Well, good luck tomorrow against New Bremen and the rest of the season as well. When we come back, we will talk with the ladies of cold water as they are also unbeaten in league play and looking to make a trip back to state once again here on Sports Report.